Here's a simple method for organizing all of your study content in one place, from lectures, flashcards, to-dos, exam dates, PDFs, and more. First, let's organize our class notes. Go to your sidebar and create a folder, name it classes, and then create a subfolder for each of the classes that you're studying in this semester. I'll add biology here, anatomy, and computer science. Then, within each of these folders, add a new document for each lecture that you're attending. You can also add documents for homework, projects, or anything you want to organize. When you're in a given lecture, open up that document and make your notes and flashcards in a single place in this document. You can type normal notes in here. You can make flashcards. You can format your notes with headers, to-dos, and much more. Just click on the plus button at the bottom to see all the different things that you can add. On your sidebar, if you toggle open your classes folder, you'll now be able to see all of your content in a single place. You can also use the global search here to immediately find any specific topic. You can even search for your specific text within your documents, and when you click on them, you'll immediately be brought to that location. If you have a specific source that you're learning from, such as a lecture PowerPoint slide, some PDF that your teacher gives you, some textbook, etc., you can go to your title here and just click Upload. You can either upload it directly from your computer, or from a link online. The file will then open on the right here, automatically next to your notes, and you can reference it directly as you're learning. Just highlight some section here that you want to remember, copy it to your clipboard, and then just go back to your notes and press Control V to paste. Later, if you come back to this lecture one document here and open it up, you can then just immediately see that you have a linked PDF here, open it right on the side, and you'll even jump back right to the place where you left off reading. Going back to our biology folder, you can also upload source material that's not linked to any specific lecture through this button here. Your PDF will get added to the list as its own item here, and then you can go and take notes on it. When you have an upcoming exam, you can also store your exam dates and organize your practice directly in RevNote. Go to the practice button here and click set exam date. You can then specify which documents are covered on this exam. In this case, I'll say lecture one and homework one, and then I can name it, and then go and set my exam date two Fridays from now. You'll see that you have an automatically computed practice schedule of the flashcards in this folder, and you can choose which schedule you prefer. After confirming the schedule, you'll see that your exam has been added to your folder here. And if you go to your global flashcards page and scroll down, you can see that your exam is prioritized at the top here, telling you the number of cards that you need to do today and the exam date. To get an overview of your upcoming exams, go to the top and just click exams and goals. After adding your exam, you'll see it listed in your folder here for easy access. If you go to your global flashcards page and scroll down, you'll see that your exam appears at the top, prioritizing it over your other content. You can also see the number of cards that are due to practice today. And if you scroll up, click on exams and goals here, you can then see a full calendar of upcoming practice. RemNote will automatically compute a schedule of the number of cards that you need to practice each day to ensure mastery by your exam date. When the semester is over, you can then prioritize what you want to do with these cards. First, you can go and rename your classes folder here to something like spring 2024 classes. You can then go and add a new folder here for your upcoming classes next semester. If you want to prioritize cards in your current semester first, then you can go to your flashcards page, scroll down, and press the priority button here. I can mark the fall 2024 classes as cards that I'm actively learning and actively focused on. And then I can go and mark my older spring 2024 classes, either as maintaining which will have them appear in the queue after I'm done all of my active cards, or as completely paused, which will make them not appear in the global queue at all. You can also organize all of your other notes right on your sidebar. You can make, for example, a document to organize your current projects, a document for your upcoming to-dos, or even just a special homepage for yourself where I can go and give this a nice little icon. I can mark it as no bullet notes here. I can add a reference to my current classes by typing the at symbol, and then just typing in the name of the class here to make some links. And then I can split it into multiple columns, add an embedded website for some upcoming weather. You can go as crazy as you would like. To access any of these features, just type the slash menu for options anywhere in the app, and you'll see a full list of what you can insert. Finally, make sure to go to the top here and download the app, both for desktop and mobile, so that you have all of your flashcards and notes and content offline anywhere you are. We covered a bunch of steps here, so for step-by-step -step instructions, go to the bottom left tutorials box in the app, open up the organizing your school notes section, and then just go through each of these tutorials one by one. Happy learning.